there. My name is Henry Tenby. Uh, this picket fence here, well, this low level fence, this is how all airports should have their fences. Uh, look at this, great view of the runway. I'm at Villeneuve Airport in Alberta, actually just outside of Edmonton. I believe it's, yeah, we're northwest of the city of Edmonton. There's the control tower, the hub. It's a small general aviation airport. Pretty much I'm the only one here, but this is Villeneuve Airport. And I've heard that there is a very historic Canadian airline airliner uh, here that's sitting on the field that I'm gonna go explore. I'm gonna go have a look at it. It's apparently a very, very interesting airliner for those of you that are interested in Western Canadian airline history. So let's go have a look and see what I can find. So we've been driving in country roads in the middle of nowhere here, this north, north of Edmonton, and this is a place called Villeneuve, Villeneuve Airport. And we've come to look for a piece of Canadian airline history. And as you can see, this is a gravel road, and there in the distance is a Boeing 737-200. And I'm hoping we can get a chance to have a look at it. We've driven out here to see it, so I wonder if we can get to see this aircraft. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I was wondering, how is it situated? Yeah, they're doing construction there by the fence. But... Yeah, wow. It looks like it's, we're, it's literally just sitting out here in the middle of nowhere in rural Alberta. Look at it. It has not... We're going to go out and have a closer look at it, obviously. Really something else. Hang on, we got dirt coming, dirt coming. see this is this is quite a place to go plane spotting but we're gonna just get out and have a look at this aircraft here I wonder where I can park right here. Just, sit just sit it on the side yeah. okay right here you think yep. we're good yep. okay let's have a look turn the engine off here okay let's just go have a look at this thing get the key just park the car here on this uh, country road. It's a hot day, it's about 100 degrees here in Edmonton. And we're just gonna, there it is, right here. It's 37, let's go have a look at it and check it out. Let's go have a look at this 37. Walking in a field here. Wow, look at it. GIPW. This is just sitting here forlorn. Completely forlorn. Wow. Won't be going anywhere anytime soon. It's just looking very, very, very sad. It'd be interesting to go inside and have a look though. Wow. So this is this is where we are. This is Villeneuve Airport. We just drove down that road. Uh, Villeneuve Airport is like right there. So, as you can see, the airplane's just sitting here. It is literally out to pasture. And there it is, wow. So I'm just wondering, is the GIPW registration authentic? I don't think it no. is. It's not. It's for, it's a former Canadian Airlines, isn't it? Or is it a former WestJet? I don't know. But look at it. It's just Couldn't tell you. looking very sad. Not quite as sad as the one in the other tree. No, not quite as sad as the 727 that's rotting away in Abbotsford. The old KS. KS. The story on this 737 uh, is that it was at the museum at the Edmonton Municipal Airport. They have an aviation museum there. And uh, I guess it was the city wanted the, the museum to move their airplanes out of there. And uh, instead of scrapping this airplane, um, volunteers came about, uh, people with experience on the aircraft, uh, over the years with PW and they resurrected the airplane. They got it into a barely flyable state 
and they flew the airplane uh, from the Edmonton Municipal Airport over to here, over to Villeneuve. And it's only, I guess, what, maybe 30 miles, not too far uh, from Edmonton city center to here. So as you can see, this is a, it's, it's a country road here. The airplane's literally out to pasture and this is sitting, sitting there in the field. And who knows how long it'll stay here. Uh, at least it's been preserved. Uh, the, the color scheme isn't quite authentic, but it's still a very, very nice piece of Canadian history. Of course, it keeps the uh, Pacific Western Airlines uh, livery and memories alive. So nice to see the airplane. It's an honor to be here, Villeneuve Airport. Today is the 17th of July, 2024. It's 4.30 p.m. and it's about, oh, it's over 30 degrees Celsius. It's baking hot today. Uh, flew here from Vancouver this morning and uh, went and visited some friends and just came out here to check out the Boeing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any affiliation or association with Pacific Western or, and or the 737, I'd love to read about your um, association, your memories uh, with this aircraft and the airline in the comments section. So thank you for watching the video and I really hope you enjoyed it. It's just another three quarter rear view of the Boeing kind of unique right seeing this airplane sitting here out in a cow pasture or out in a pasture of some type you wonder could this airplane fly again probably not without a heck of a lot of work but it appears to be visually intact there's the old PW mustache yeah there you go and yeah, there's my rent-a-car, there's the RAV4. And this is, this is it, Villanova Airport 37. My name is Henry Tenby and I'd like to introduce my brand new book for classic airline fans. It's called Air Travel Time Machine and it features over 600 fabulous color Kodachrome memories taken between 1942 and 1960. So this book is a culmination of 30 years of collecting vintage old aircraft slides uh, from the 1950s and 60s. And this has been my life passion for decades. And the type of pictures that I am very interested in are not the standard images of just sterile shots of airplanes. These are pictures that tell a story, that show people, that show the interiors of airplanes, and show what travel was like during the golden age of aviation. This book is 288 pages. It's a hardcover book printed on a 106 pound GSM, high quality gloss paper. It is a beautiful presentation and you are going to love the images and it is filled with captions and memories and great images that'll take you back to the post-war era of air travel. I hope you enjoy purchasing my book and reading my book. What follows are a selection of sample images from inside the book, just to give you an idea of the atmosphere and memories that are included in this incredible book. So I really hope that you enjoy the contents. It is a unique book because it really is a time travel wormhole view back through the sands of time to what air travel was like during the golden age of aviation and airlines. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you'll consider purchasing my book. As a side note, this is a limited production book. We're only printing 300 copies for the UK and Europe and another 300 copies for Canada USA distribution. So if you'd like to order a book, be sure to do so as soon as possible so that you are guaranteed to get a copy in your library. Thanks again.